Welcome to Good Mythical More. Check your voicemail. We've got a voicemail. Let's check it. Please leave a message after the beep and tag your it. I hope I get interviewed in the video when they eat. Whoa. <laughs> That, that kind of disintegrated from a, a message to just like it was a it was a list of memes. It was a list of things to say. Okay, I want to have the joke about the, after the beep. Then Absolutely. I then I want to request. Then I want to make sure I say yeet. <laughs> Get some memes in there. What That's do you how think? I used Are to they talk to my girlfriend show? in middle school. I would write down a list of all the things I was going to talk to her about, and then like ninety seconds in, I was like, the list is over. <laughs> Wait, I Hi. still I still do that today. You do? I 100% still do. I, I get social anxiety a little bit, believe it or not. Yeah, so when I go on to like a first date or meeting someone the first time, I have just in my back uh, pocket a list of just things I could ask. Right on your hand or mm -hmm. something? No, 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 they could see that. Come on. Yeah, that's what Come I would have done. <laughs> Man, I haven't, I, you know, I, I, I could count on one hand how many times I've dated. Same. Mm. That's Same. over. Same. Oh, well, Same. well I, I've been married almost 20 years, so. Can't right. Really. So I'm the saddest Sorry. person here. I'm the, I'm the saddest person here. And the most Canadian. So um, we've got some Canadian snacks and their American counterparts. Uh, we tried to find things that if the American version is not available in Canada and vice versa. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna try these things and then we're gonna see which one we like better. Let's start Ooh. with this. Do you, do you know about this? I, 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 you don't know about, I'm actually shocked. I thought this was everywhere. Uh-uh, so never seen this. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, but how my family used to pronounce it and take this in with a grain of salt because this was my immigrant parents pronouncing this <laughs> from India. We called it Jewy Louie. I'm sure it's not that though. Let's go with that, Jewy Louie. Jewy Louie. <laughs> but it's delicious. What is the real pronunciation? My mom J -O -S would is not Jewy. I know, but my mom would always be the girl, Lily, about your Jewy Louie. <laughs> you know so Open it. I refuse to correct her because you know I've never even um, I seen have it. the I, I it's it's actually pronounced um Jewy Louie. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. I've just do that for you. It's just Joss. Joss Louie. I think it's I don't Joss. It. Joss Lewis. That sounds. Why does, it say, why does it say half in front of it? Joe Louis. Okay, so oh, good question. So they also come. In the full circles. Oh, this and is, this is the half this version. This is literally a half version. Yes, it's kind of like a, half a moon version. pie. Yeah, kind of like that. Uh, is it do, do you guys have half inside? moons? You know what that is? Mm. It's like the vanilla version of this. Yes. That, well, that's like a moon pie. So I think, mm. I actually think we maybe sh we should have had moon pies here mm. instead of cupcakes. But you know what? But we, I, we have both of these. And I, I'm pretty sure we have those too. You, you have hoistis cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna blow your mind though. This is amazing. Are we allowed to eat it? No. Oh, oh yeah. And it's got some. Uh, actually, you know what? Mm. This is better. Mm. This is more closely related to this than a moon pie. Mm -hmm. Because look at that. A moon okay. pie has mm -hmm. got a um, almost crispiness inside, right? This uh, is my childhood. No. I used to eat like ten of these while watching Power Rangers. You know, as a oh, kid. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's good. So good. Go go Power Ranger. Mm -hmm. oh, my, 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 my. Before they went into space and stuff, you know, there's normal Power Rangers. Yeah. Yeah. Normal Power Rangers. Man. No. Really good. We used to have. Mm. We used to have, have these right? cupcakes mm -hmm. at my house at all times. I need to. You know okay. what? Thank you. Here, I'll pass it down. Here's the thing about the cupcake. I'm a big fan of these cupcakes, but I do feel like the icing in the middle is. There's a bite that is way too intense. Right, it's not spread evenly. You, you know what I'm saying? The ratio is a little off. In that look at that bite. little squiggly line on top. I do appreciate that. Y'all don't that. have that. I don't see a squiggly line. Typical American behavior. On Dewey Louis. <laughs> Dewey Louis. <laughs> were no. you allowed to have them whenever you wanted? Like they were in your house and then you oh, just Oh yeah, I was like, a latchkey could... kid. I'd go home from school and eat whatever. I... Stevie. Bagel bites, Dewey oh, Louis. No. <laughs> the only thing, the only place my mom mm. drew a line was mm. on sugary cereal for some reason. Mm -hmm. You could inject sugar directly into your veins, <laughs> but you couldn't have like, you know, mm. frosted mini wheat. Which do you think is better? They're mm. both pretty great. Yeah, the um, the cream inside of the the Jewy Louie <laughs> is um, more marshmallowy. Mm -hmm. I think one has a distinctly better taste, both in cake and chocolate. I I, I think so as well. I, and it's, we... it's it's Jewy Louie, guys. Thank you. That's what I think as it's, well. It tastes better than Hostess. I'm sorry. This tastes like straight, just sweet sugar. This has another flavor, yeah, richness it, it, to yeah, it. it. It does taste better. I'm not gonna argue with that. Okay. And, and I like the form factor. Okay, mm -hmm. so we, so this, Canadians win this round. Woohoo! 
This is going to be a difficult, bless you. This is going to be a difficult one, though. Mm -hmm. Flaming Hot Cheetos, which um, Chase told us that they are only in Canada in sporadic segments of time. Well, who controls that? Like, oh, the press case. the button, now they get Cheetos. You Canadians, <laughs> you Canadians, you can't handle the spice for too long. You, you, it's well, like, whoa, 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 guys, this is getting a little too out of control. Tamp it down. I or think that, back. I actually, if I had to generally say, I do think Canadians probably handle more spice than Americans. Oh. And I, I speak as someone from Toronto, actually, so let me, let me clarify. Okay. Toronto, we have like a melting pot of all types of foods. You right. all these spices from all over the world. You're right. A lot of them are really intense. Versus Hawkins cheesies. I'm not gonna lie, I've never seen those. Never seen? No, I've never seen those. They're um. What part of Canada is this from? I mean, they seem very solid. Look at that. They're alive. <laughs> That's a huge Cheeto. Mm -hmm. What in the world happened? I'll pour these out here. We must have big Cheeto in America. Like you're not gonna find any Cheeto. Those are longer and more slender. But those aren't spicy. Nope. Oh, interesting. Okay, here we go. I've only been in Toronto once. Uh, loved it. The food was great. Toronto is great. Yeah, really I'm good food. Toronto's the best. Ooh, that is a little, that is a little spicy, a little spicy there. Um, I like that. I started with the Canadian one. I mean, the apples to apples would be like normal Cheetos, which you have in Canada, but. Dare I say those are too cheesy? Yeah, they are a little. Is that possible? I, I didn't think so, but I think those are too cheesy. I just like a hot Cheeto. That's not possible. I really? also feel like the cheese oh, tastes a little like feet. It's like a feet cheese. Yeah. You know? It's like I not a, that. it's not a. It definitely smells footy. Mm-hmm. I. But it tastes great. These, your your spice tolerance is pretty impressive, actually. You're just going for him. I like these a lot. Yeah. Hey, you haven't even tasted this. I one. also prefer the Canadian side of Niagara Falls. <laughs> That's just facts, no printer, though. Yeah, the Canadian yeah. side of Niagara Falls is better. <laughs> You guys, I didn't even know you had a side. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> we got a side. Do you though? I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's, too, it's, it's very commercialized. It can, what does your side look like? I've never been. Like casinos, I think. It like, looks like museum. A good view of the other side, which is better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like I should be over there. Uh -huh. that's, that's what you think when you're on the American mm -hmm. side of Niagara Falls. I, I'm going. I'm, I'm going no with hot Cheetos. I'm going with hot Cheetos. I, I like these better. Really? Yeah. This is my vote, but I'm not. I'm man out. Wow. I guess Mirko won that one. Yeah. Okay. These Mirko. are better than normal Cheetos because they're cheesier and footier. But two out of three. Hmm. So now we're one to one. Oh, man. Can Canada's got. Remember one. the comment I made about one. spices? I retract that. I'm a pansy. I'm dying. Let's go with another <laughs> chip. Oh. Oh, you know what will save me? <laughs> yeah. Get a little bit. Louis, um, Louis. We've got the Canadian ketchup chip. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say before I even see the second chips. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can beat a ketchup chip. And here's the thing, when people here's the second chips though, wavy ranch. That's something. <laughs> it, it, it is. Something. I think I like this better. I feel like when people have, they've never tried a ketchup chip, they have a, a very harsh opinion about it before trying it because it sounds like it would be gross, but they're actually amazing. They're uh, if I remember correctly, they're so good. They're very so tangy. Good. So good. I wouldn't say they taste like ketchup. Not really. But they're just great. Well, it looks like a And I don't know why America has chosen to reject these. Mm. I mean, why? We put ketchup on everything. Mm -hmm. Plum it colored. Chips. It's very, very tangy. It's like a choice they've made. Did you say plum colored? Plum colored. Plum? That's an interesting choice. I mean, you're not wrong, but that word in, in particular is. You think this is plum? You've been playing with crayons? <laughs> yeah, that's plum colored. You've been spending a lot of time in a Crayola box. I would not call that red, I would call it purple. You must have, had, must have been a rich kid with a 64 pack. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, let's try. Me, you know, this is red. Let's try these. That's not red. Crazy wavy ranch look, chips. Look, look, this right here. That, this color right here is red. This when is you plum. have the eight pack, it's all red. <laughs> it's all red. <laughs> That's right. All right, so let's give these a Ooh. chance now. How do we feel? Remember back in the day, lazy used to only be not with the wave. And then we got wavy and it was a big deal. Yeah, the waves are a little scary. Yeah. I, why is it such a... It's, it's, it's structurally sound. It's There's more no, dippable. Mm, um. It's to compete with the ruffle. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. There's no contest here, guys. There's, there's, is what I didn't even remember what the flavor was. I can't even. Ranch. Rat. I mean, I will say, in defense of America, I don't know why we determined that this is the counterpart to ketchup chips. No. That seemed a little <laughs> random. But this kind of because feels, they don't have these in Canada. Oh. So we're like, if you, if you can only get one in one place, that's how We don't have happen. ranch in Canada? You don't have this. They don't have waves. You don't have this Lay's. No waves in Canada. Ranch. Here's the thing. 
Y'all in America also just got all dress chips recently. Do you know all dress chips are? I've heard of them. Okay. In Canada, that's like the best flavor. But just recently, I moved here four years ago, and I think one and a half years ago, I went to the grocery store, and I was like, all dress is a thing. Now, that is the greatest contribution Canada's ever made. What is it? What is all dress? All dressed. It's a whole bunch of flavors combined, and it's this indescribable result that's just a party in your mouth. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like every salad dressing. Oh, I have the list of the list of flavors now. Ranch barbecue sauce. Barbecue, ketchup, sour cream, and onion, and salt and vinegar. That's what all dress is. All in one. It sounds gross, but it's so good. All in one flavor. Mm Mm-hmm. All dress. It's like the flavor powder of all those mixed into Mm -hmm. one thing. Mm -hmm. All right. So for this, what are we voting for? It sounds like ketchup. Ketchup. I no agree. Brain. Okay, it, it Canada a two, America one, and this is the last round. Oh. Okay, so America okay. can only tie. Oh, 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 oh! Here we go. See, this is going to be tough. And if though. America doesn't tie, Link and I are moving to Canada. Yay! Reese's crispy crunchy, which I've never had. <sighs> never had that either. It's like a fast break, but crunch- crunchy on the outside. Because See. there's peanuts on the outside versus coffee crisp. Before we dive in, can I just say something? Because I have very strong feelings about this. Okay. My favorite chocolate in the world is Reese's peanut butter cups, the cups. Oh, yeah. And I am just not a fan, please let me know if you agree, of the variations they've made of this chocolate because it throws the ratio off. Mm-hmm. The oh, cup okay. has the perfect amount of peanut butter and chocolate. We got the sticks, we got the bars, we got the eggs, we got the pumpkins. Oh, you it's don't all... even like the eggs. No. So let's look at that ratio. No, no, no. You make an excellent point. I don't even like the king size version of the cup. The king size. Or the mini. It throws Link it got, off. Link got uh, beyond king size. There's a, there's a size that th- is this big. It's like no. a joke size. No. Have you seen those? I have not it's seen called it. Beyond King Size? Beyond King Size, and you eat it like a pie. I guarantee that's only you in America. <laughs> Can I say that this Reese's conversation actually was like a very big theme for the crew during our Halloween candy tournament this yeah. year? Like, I somehow I got blamed for not allowing more Reese's on the board. Yeah, because it was your fault, TV. Yeah, and there was a whole conversation about how not all Reese's things taste the same. You see, not too... What yeah. we've done here is we put peanut butter, peanuts on the outside. We've thrown off the ratio. There's actually it's madness. It's mayhem. There's peanut butter candy crisps. It's pretty good on though. the outside too. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. <laughs> it's not as good as a cup, but it is. I do like it. I actually do like the crunch factor. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, you know what that crunch is? It's them trying to get in on the butterfinger thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which I don't think kind of has butterfingers. Now that I think about it. Okay. That's, that's not bad. Now you it's, gotta it's, tell it's, us about it's peanut butter toffee, and it, I don't mm-hmm. like it. You gotta sell us on the coffee. Crisp. Okay, coffee crisp is exactly what it says it is. It's kind of like a wafery, crunchy bar, tastes like coffee. I'm not a huge coffee fan, so personally, I'm on the fence about it. But people who like coffee love this. Okay, all right. Are okay. you a coffee fan? Uh, I, I am. am. Okay. I don't drink a lot of it, but I like it. it just makes my tummy upset. Aww. Yeah, and it's just a, it's just a wafer in there, guys. Mm-hmm. Just a wafer. It, it smells. Should just have had like, this one first. Just like one. coffee. Because now all it tastes is Reese's. Hmm. You need. Oh. To, you need to swish. Oh, maybe. What do you think? That's a thick wafer. Mm-hmm. You could float yourself across Niagara with this thing. You've set the stakes very high because the decision then determines where we live. Yeah, a hundred percent. Um, it's you really it good though. Man, it's good. <laughs> what do you think? I really like it. It's chocolatey. It's light. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not too overpowering. It's it's it's, it's subtle. Mm-hmm. It's got it's got the perfect amount of cafe to it. It's very subtle, unassuming, very Canadian. It's it's like you've dipped it in coffee, and then it's dry. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to dip it in. coffee. It's not overbearing. It's nice. This is not an easy choice for me. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I I feel like there is a clear winner. If I had to be. You know, stuck with one of these in a dark room, which is where I eat my candy in a dark room. <laughs> my, dark candy, my dark candy room. Crying, oh. shivering, and naked. Uh, well, yep. I've I've already gone Thank on you record for that visual. and said, yeah, I've walked in on him. <laughs> um, but you didn't see me because it was so dark. I felt you. <laughs> oh gosh, um, I don't like the crispy butterfingeriness. That's an interloping thing. It's trying too hard. I'm voting for the light, delicate. Coffiness of this bar. Well, I'm voting for the the Reese cup. First bar. of all, the fact that you said Reese is that's what redneck. we say. No, it's Reese's. What it's, rhymes with pieces? It's Reese cup. Reese no. Reese Reese 
Madness. It's madness. Okay, I. Listen, my, so, hold on. So you're how the does tiebreaker. your mom say it? You're the tiebreaker, Lily. If you prefer coffee crisp, you will honor all of Canada, but then we'll have to move. And I really like my house. Canada, I guess you're gaining two more residents. Because <laughs> I'm going go. with coffee crisp. We're just moving to Canada. Woo! I don't like the variations of the original. This is the OG, and this is like trying way too hard in my opinion. Okay, there you so. go. Canada has better candy, well, and chips, snacks, whatever, food, than America. Cool to catch up with you. Nice to catch up with you too. Thanks for having me. Yes, it's fun. <laughs> I have a sugar high. Cyber Monday really means Cyber Mug Day. We're re-releasing some of our classic mugs and a new black mythical mug. Get them while you can at mythical.com.